Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Hump Day on this Wednesday morning. It is the 8th day of August, 3.50 in the morning, and some of you were lucky enough to get some decent rainfall totals yesterday. I know some towns got up to an inch. I didn't do quite as well at this location, about a third of an inch, but uh, my grass loved it. You can actually hear my grass growing. Maybe you can't, but uh, it's growing quickly. And uh, the rain chances are going to go up a notch each day for the next few days. So if you didn't get the rain you wanted yesterday, hang on. We'll uh, show you how the rain chances will get better. And by the way, if you're making weekend plans, you know, it's not going to be a washout, but uh, we may be dodging raindrops from time to time. Well, the atmosphere is starting to change. You see how that ridge of high pressure has shifted a little farther to the southeast, not quite over us anymore, and the atmosphere is going to be more conducive to scattered showers and thunderstorms. Not only that, that front to the north in the Ohio Valley will start edging closer to Alabama, and that's going to increase the showers and thunderstorms across the state eventually, especially the northern half of the state today. So I've taken the rain chances up just a notch to about 40% today. You're splitting hairs when you try to assign a number, but partly sunny with a high around 94, tonight's low 74. And then as the front gets a little bit closer tomorrow and, and the ridge continues to shift away, we get into uh, slightly better rain chances. You know, I've taken the rain chances up to about 50-50 on Thursday. I think that's reasonable, and uh, the showers and thunderstorms will become more numerous on Friday because a trough of low pressure in the upper atmosphere is going to be very conducive to promoting showers and storms, not only Friday, Friday, but into the weekend, too. So I've got scattered to numerous storms with the rain chances perhaps spiking on Friday, uh, more in the 60% range and still a generous supply of showers and thunderstorms roaming around Saturday. That doesn't mean your weekend is a washout, but it means, you know, have a plan B, be flexible because the rain chances are generous uh, Saturday and Sunday across the area. And then even Monday, I think there's a decent chance of scattered thunderstorms continuing. But I think later in the week, the storms will start to thin out again. So we've got the rain chances 50% tomorrow with lower 90s, and then um, a 60% chance, perhaps upper 80s on Friday, and still a generous supply of showers and thunderstorms, as you can see, fr uh, Saturday and Sunday, with uh, uh, maybe a smaller chance, perhaps a little bit on Monday at 40%. Notice, though, how the temperatures shift out of the 90s for a couple of days. You know, maybe upper 80s Friday, Saturday. We'll see. Uh, that would be nice. And uh, the rainfall through the weekend will be heaviest across the Tennessee Valley region. See how North Alabama gets the heaviest rainfall totals with perhaps somewhat um, more leaner to totals in central and south Alabama. The beach forecast for the beaches from Gulf Shores to Panama City. Decent chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms again Friday and Saturday in the 60% range, but more like a 40% chance Sunday. Gulf water temperature now at 86. Out in the tropics, we have Tropical Storm Debbie, way out there, a fish storm in the uh, Atlantic, and it probably doesn't have much tropical future. Uh, it looks like maybe in a you know through Thursday it will be a tropical feature and then become subtropical or, or maybe just a regular low as it heads towards, towards the British Isles. Hector is going to be passing south of Hawaii, and they've gotten rid of the tropical storm watch for the Big Island, Winds now 130 miles per hour, so that would be a Category 3 hurricane as it moves onto the west into the Central Pacific. Hey, just make a note, the Perseid meteor shower, the better, one of the better ones of the year, is peaking on Saturday and Sunday night. If the clouds cooperate, I'll remind you later in the week, but I just wanted you to kind of put that in the back of your mind there and uh, you know, maybe a meteor shower weekend. If the clouds cooperate, we'll see. So, yeah, good luck on your rain chances today. This yard needs to be cut because it is getting longer so the rain yesterday really, really helped. I uh, hope you have a great day today. There'll be another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. Of course, live on the radio, as you would expect, uh, from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 with Greg Jay and Emily. We have a lot of fun, and we pair up with CBS 8 and ABC 32, the Alabama News Network. I do a live weather chat at 5.50 a.m. with Ryan, and uh, our morning crew and their morning crew get together at 6.40 a.m., uh, plus your forecast across the dial on eight radio stations, the Blue Water family of stations. All right, Bailey, come on in, girl. I'll see you guys later. Rich Thomas Weather.